Captain's Rocketeers. Doctor Who memorabilia. She's NASA student challenge. Biometric calculation. Thrust concentric resistor jet. Drag Hi. coefficients. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I've just been running over some of my ideas. Oh, I'm surprised you're at home. Where is everybody? Well, this is it. The hardcore. Everyone, this is Steph. She's volunteered to help us fundraise. Hi, guys. And can I just say what an honour and pleasure it is to be part of this rocket thing? Great. Go on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, I thought we could organise a disco fundraiser right here in the SU bar, and we're going to have a meeting with the manager later. Sounds good. Thank you. And then I thought we could flog these key fob things. You know, ask local retailers to sell on our behalf. This is just a prototype, obviously. And then I've made slogan t-shirts. Oh. <laughs> Rocket scientists. Space, here we come. And this is my favourite. Oh, you're going to love it. <laughs> is that a rocket in your pocket or are you just pleased to see me? Okay, don't I'll clap at once. Oh, Nance can't make it. Poor oh, thing's having to look after Charlie. Oh, no, she feels Mum tried to rock me to look after Leah tonight. Well, can't Amy do it? Uh, no, she ain't got the patience. Oh, hiya. Hi. Look, I've got my new dancing shoes on. Oh, I'll do my best. Hey, have you, have you heard from Spike? No. No, I haven't. Well, maybe he'll call later, eh? And if he doesn't, just proves what a waste of space he was. Thank you, Sherlock. Come on, he didn't really take much to put him off. And anyway, just right to show off. Banging on about all those cool clubs. He wasn't banging on. I thought he was. Yeah, well, look, if you were so bored, you could have just left. Oh God, what is up with you two? It's bad enough you and Craig not speaking, never mind you two falling out. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome <laughs> to tonight's Couples Contest Quiz. Well, we'll be asking our two lovely couples to divulge their intimate secrets. Oh, yes. And the couple who know the most about each other tonight will walk away with 100, yes, 100 English pounds. Right. Without further ado, let's meet the contestants. And who are you? Mercedes and Ross. And where did you meet? Uh, she was hustling at the pool table in the SU bar. <laughs> hustling, you say? And what would you spend your prize money on if you won tonight? We're going to put it towards my wedding dress. Ah, oh, how sweet. A wedding dress. Fantastic. And over here we have... Uh, Jackie and Alexander. Which one's which? <laughs> just a joke, just a joke. And where did you two meet? Uh, in, in a bar. Yeah, in bars, more like. And I heard recently you've just got married. Is that right? Yeah, we should do. We had a reception here, love. Right. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the show. Okay, ladies, if you could step behind the screen and put your headphones on nice and tight. We don't want any cheating. Got to watch this lot. Thanks. Hey, here we go. What are they all staring for? What do you expect? Your ex-husband made the front page of the Herald. Yeah, well, he's missing. He's dead. Uh, maybe this isn't such a bad idea. No, let them stare. This is not the first time Sean's done a disappearing act. He could turn up here right now and prove them all wrong. Go into a lady's handbag. Things must be desperate. Warren just texted me. He wants me to meet him in the dog. And you can give him this. After you've told me everything you know. I don't know anything, I swear. But as soon as Warren tells me, you'll be the first to know. Promise? You owe me for this. <sighs> Look, don't get upset about Spike, eh? Hey? I can't help it. No, I... He's the first guy I've met that I actually liked. I thought he liked me too. Clearly not. There you go. Cheers, Han. You sure I'm allowed to drink this? It's what you ordered. Hi. Oh, hello. All right. Loving the hair. <laughs> Sonny thought he would take a lot. Hmm? Could have let us know. What? I'm spoiled a surprise. To be honest, I was a bit bored. They have to be to hang with you lot. <laughs> Who died? Why don't we, uh, let's, let's come to the bar. Idiot. Which one? Right then. Tell me, gentlemen, what's your partner's best feature? And that's for us. Uh, stomach, definitely. Okay. 
Alexander, what about Jackie? I think I will say her bottom. <laughs> oh, he's getting a bit saucy up here on the stage. <laughs> right, the next question is, if your partner could be somebody famous, who would it be? And that's for Alexander. I know this one. Cheryl Tweedy. <laughs> Cheryl Tweedy, eh? She's a bit yummy. Good answer. <laughs> Russ, what about Mercedes? Uh, you okay? Say Madonna. Yeah, um... There's a woman. I, I was just thinking about Sean's mum. Yes, yeah, Mercedes for you. She must be going through hell right now. Anyway... Listen, do you think I should call her? Do what you want. You don't half push you up. Sorry. So you should be. I don't want that tart setting foot around here again. I've already told her. Right. Come on, you can buy me a drink. Over here, ladies. Thank you. Right. We asked the fellas what they thought was your best feature. Well, we knew depths in here. The bomb. Spot on. And may I say what I love Great. the bomb is That's too. all we need. <laughs> Just ignore him. Mercedes. Well, like you are. What bit of you does Russ like best? <laughs> Matome. Correct, Amondo. <laughs> right, next question. What is Alexander's favourite film? The Godfather. <laughs> She's right. Lovely. Great. What about Russ? Kill Bill. Best Back idea I've heard all night. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. How comes he's always surrounded by chicks? I don't know, maybe... Maybe he's in touch with his feminine side. Your girlfriend, mate, is choosing to puff the road for you. You wanna have a word, mate? Don't just sit there like a pussycat. Meow. If he's bugging you, you know, we can all go upstairs. Just stop fussing, right? I'm fine. Makes me sick. What? Just because he's gay. What do you mean, just? You okay with this, Craig? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I am. So what are you saying? Are you one of them? Because you act like it half the time. Well, it's better than being a chauvinist bully. You what? <laughs> I don't care what John Paul is. I'd rather be his mate than your mate any day. Yeah, well, it's fine by me. I was only there to give you some support. Yeah, but if I'd have wanted it, I'd have asked. Oh, so what, we can't even be friends now? Hannah, you were out of order, right. If you didn't want me there, you could have just said. Anyway, if he doesn't like you, he's an idiot. Yeah, but I like him. And if you can't handle that, then I suggest you stay out of the way. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Oh, Hannah, I'm going home. Well done. Where are you going? Well, I can't exactly leave it, can I? I just had a word with the bar manager, and he says we can definitely hold the fundraiser here tomorrow night. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we can have half the takings on the door, and we can sell the merchandise. T-shirts and stuff. Yeah, anything we want. Can we get them printed up properly? What's wrong with the way I've done it? Uh, you wrote on them in felt tip. So? I just think if we get them printed up properly, we'll raise more money. OK, whatever. Right, we can get on to that in the morning. Uh, excuse me, I'd better have a glowing testimonial after all of this. I'll do better than that. You get us the cash, we'll name the rocket after you. What, like the Stephanie Dilladine? Well, we'd have to write it pretty small. <laughs> I don't care, as long as you write that letter. Um, what was that all about? Nothing. <sighs> Are you seeing someone? Briefly. What happened? Look, oh, Craig. I know you're not cool with me being gay, all right? So you can stop I pretending. I am. I'm cool with it. What, so is that why you tried to knock seven shades out of me on the football pitch? You gave as good as you got. What did you expect me to do? Just lie down and take it? I tried apologising. You weren't interested. Because my head was done in. And mine wasn't. <sighs> I haven't come here to argue. I want us to be mates again. Mates with the school pub? If you're not interested, 
I won't waste my time. Craig, maybe I should have accepted your apology. I don't care what people say. I even defended you to Sonny. Is that why he left? That's a start, I suppose. This isn't all my fault. Well, we'll see how it goes, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie-break situation, which means I'm going to ask the gentleman one more question. Thank you. Written answers only, boys. Are you ready? Is your partner allergic to anything? Now, this could be washing the dishes, it could be football, it could be shaving those grubby little legs. Just a joke. <laughs> right, have we got the answers? We have got the answers. Thank you. Right, Mercedes. Are you allergic to anything? Nope, nothing. Yes! Our survey says nothing. Well done! No, she's allergic to horses. Are you? No, I'm not. Don't lie. You rode on one in Blackpool and you got a rash up your thighs. That was a heat rash. If you don't believe me, ring my mum. OK, we've got a discrepancy here, so I'm going to have to disallow the point. Russ and Mercedes, no point. <laughs> right, Jackie. According to Alexander, what are you allergic to? Prawns. Prawns is the correct answer. You've won tonight's star prize. Well done. Total strangers, eh? How lucky were that? We learned it from the immigration interview. You cheating little cow! That hundred quid we're gonna go towards my wedding dress. Yeah, well, it's like we're gonna have to cancel the horse drawn carriage now, doesn't it? Oh, baby, it was a joke. Come on. I'm going to get a drink. And what are you looking at? Nothing. Makes a change. Yeah, well, maybe I've got stuff on my mind. You've only ever got one thing in your own mind. There you go, there's your prize. <laughs> Meal vouchers. Do you want your plums removing or are you going to give me this in half cash, love? You off already? You keeping tabs? Oh, you ensure that history? I guess it's only a matter of time before the CID come knocking on your door. Bring it on, mate. I've got nothing to hide. Clock strikes 10, our fairy god stunner Alicia Silverstone is playing Cupid in this match. Next up, yes, it's true, parents make mistakes. Shame they don't admit it in the war at home. Oi, you owe me a tenner and all love. You are? That bed you made? It was for a fiver. Yeah, and you upped it, not me. <sighs> Babe, cough upon <across> skin. <laughs> what? Looks like you're getting your wedding dress from Oxfam after all. <laughs> 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 